lasagna, and this is what we do first. You take one onion and then you finely chop it so it's very, um, very thin. I've done the same to this one. I'm going to do the same to this one. So very carefully make an incision and keep chopping as thinly as you can into the onion whilst leaving this bit free of all the cuts you're making on the incisions. And you simply chop, chop. You can see I'm doing a good job, can't you? <laughs> Chop, 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 then turn the onion round and then chop it again. I'm not wishing to cut through that wire. I'm not very health and safety conscious today. And as you can see, the onion is basically disintegrating as I cut into it. And there you have it. Chopped onion. I'm going to do the same to this one as well. Just to discard all that. The end bits. And again, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Of course, you can do a lot more professionally than I can. Um, you've got a lot more time for, for the start. Um, and there you go, chopped onions. Now, in the December months, there's nothing I like better than to have a nice bottle of Wulimi. This is simply Shiraz from southeastern Australia into red wine. And um, this goes equally nice with all uh, types of lasagna. Now, of course, I don't have to explain to you the importance of keeping uh, raw meat away from cooked vegetables and other kinds of meat. Here I have a, a plate of raw mince, which I'll be using for the lasagna much later on in today's programme. But um, just a word of warning, don't, once, if you touch the meat, it might be only by accident, but if you do happen to touch the meat, um, it's always important to wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. Now you might be thinking, what has Ian done with the rest of that onion, uh, you know, the end bits? Well, there's two uses for them. You can chop them in the bin, which I don't recommend because it's such a waste of food. Or you can chop them up again and use them in your lasagna. And this basically is how you do it. You remember that if the flat bits, the flat, bit, the, the flat parts of the onion that weren't um, very useful at all. Well, just simply chop them up like this. As I say, it's such a waste printed in the bin. Um, you never know how many people you might have around, you know, for lunch. So there you go, just chop them up again. And these plastic containers, which you'll find come, very in, come in very handy, sorry, um, you, these are the type of uh, plastic boxes you get with Chinese takeaways. You simply put the oven, sorry, put the onion into the plastic box. And then, without a moment's hesitation, you find a lid, which I've got here, and you seal the box of that. And then you just put it in the fridge with the storage. And, go. and we shall be using that onion later. There's no doubt about it. Now whilst I prepare the next part of the lasagna, let's take a look at a beautiful scene. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to take the lasagna out of the oven. Wish I could be done 
Christmas 